Our next question comes from a few of you. Sergey, Andy, Howard, and Alvis. Why did it take Denver so long to count votes? It kind of didn't. Even I want results the night of the election, but picture this. Before mail-in ballots, we all had to wait in line at a polling location before voting. That wait was when we were verified to be who we said we were, and then we voted. Now we vote first, and then we are verified for who we said we were when election workers check our signatures and check ID for first-time voters. So the wait now is on the back end. But really, every election takes a while for results. You just don't notice when the race is not close. For comparison, let's look at November's election. At the start of our 10 p.m. newscast, we were showing Democratic Governor Jared Polis with an 18-point lead over Republican challenger Heidi Ganahl. Polis had 989,000 votes, Ganahl 675,000. The counting was not done, but the race was over. When all the votes were counted, Polis had an additional 479,000 votes. Ganahl also added 307,000 votes. That's almost 800,000 votes that were not counted by 10 p.m. election night. But you probably didn't notice because the gap was so wide. Also, results can continue to change up to eight days after Election Day. Voters who forgot to sign their envelope or forgot to provide ID if it was their first time voting have eight days to cure or fix the problem and have their ballots still counted. Military voters also can have their ballots received and counted up to eight days after Election Day, as well as ballots from United States citizens who live outside of the U.S.